Okay, so this is, again, this is a single slit pattern, right? So you need to know that in terms of sine theta, right? Right, this is lambda over d, lambda over d, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this would be one lambda over d equals sine theta, two lambda over d, three lambda over d. Now, what they're saying is they're saying the width has a central pattern that is 2.10 centimeters wide. So that's this distance here, right? Okay, so that's 2.10 centimeters, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find that angle, okay? My number sentence here is going to be this, right? I know that uh, that angle, whatever it is, the sine of that angle is 2 lambda over d. Now, these are small angles, so I'm going to just play fast and loose with the angles here, okay? So that angle is roughly tan minus 1 of the opposite over the adjacent. I'm just going to say the opposite is that 2.1 centimeters, right? So 0 0.0210. Centimeters are about all I trust, right? I know that 2.1 centimeters is 0 0.0210 meters, right? And then this is 1.85 away. So the, the distance from this slit, right, is 1.85 meters, right? Now I'm, you know, honestly, I should take it and go, uh, well, uh, 1.05 centimeters this way and then double it, but, you know, because it's not really a right triangle. But you know what? Yeah, you can do that, and I've done that, and it just really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's find this angle approximately, right? That angle is inverse tan of 0 0.0210 divided by 1.85. All right, so that angle is... Zero points is a very small angle, right? Zero point six five zero three five six degrees, right? Okay, and now I'm just going to use that as this angle here, okay? Um, and I know this is the angle on a right triangle, and I know this is not, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so um, let's see, what are we? Oh, we're looking for the wavelength of light. So the wavelength of light is going to be d, big D, the width of the slit, sine theta divided by two. Right, so that is uh, zero point zero four five zero. Now notice that's millimeters, right? So times ten to the minus third, right? Because a millimeter is ten to the minus third meters, and they're gonna throw those at you willy nilly. All right, and then I'm gonna go sine of zero point six five zero three five six degrees approximately. I'm just going to use this number on my calculator, right? And then I'm going to divide that by two. Let's see if we get the right answer. All right. 0 0.045 times 10 to the minus third times the sine of the number I just got. Boom. End parenthesis divided by two. And I get that lambda is 2.5 five three eight eight nine times ten to the minus seventh meters or about two hundred and fifty five nanometers now i should stop right but i know there's people that really doubt the um you know all this fast and loose stuff i did here like inverse tangent and all that stuff right so so really what we should do what we should do is do figure out the angle right the angle is going to be Like this, right? So if we did this triangle, if we did this properly, made this a right triangle there, right? Then that angle would be, here, I'll switch to red here, okay? So that angle would be, or half of that angle, right, is going to be tan minus 1 of 0 0.0105, which is half that distance, right? That's this distance here right, divided by 1.85. And we really can't argue with that because this would be a right triangle. This is all symmetrical, right? So, um, so I'm going to go second tan of 0 0.0105 divided by 1.85. And I got 0 0.325187.
188.77 or something like that, right? Now I'm going to multiply that by 2 because the angle is going to be twice that, right? So times 2. And now I've got um, 0 0.0650377. Now, now, if you look at this, do, do, do 3, 5, let's see, 3, uh, 3, 7, 7, right? So now suddenly here, instead of a 5, I've got a 7, okay? So that's the actual, oh wait, sorry, there's not a 0 there. Okay, so this is the actual angle. That's the angle that I just kind of wangled, right? Um, and so let's see if it makes a difference here. Okay, so I'm going to go 0 0.045 times 10 to the minus 3 times the sine of that angle divided by 2. And I get 2.553973. Seven. Yeah, yeah, so way out here, there's some difference here. But for us, it's still 2 point, oh, this is times 10 to the minus 7th, right? So it's still 255 nanometers. So you really can do this with approximate angles, right? In fact, if you, if you don't use degrees, uh, right, you can just set up similar triangles with radians, and, and it's solvable that way without even using a trig function. Um, but I'm going to stick with this anyway.